Hello, my little gremlin. And welcome back. If you didn't know what that was, that was our secret language. If you're new here, then you wouldn't understand that. But if you're not new here, then... Today, I'm going to show you some outfits that I've either worn or want to put together new outfits that I want to wear because I've got a few new pieces I'm really excited about, um, especially uh, especially uh, some summer pieces. But yeah, I, I also have like my little backdrop thing up. Ta-da! I already had that up, so I feel like it's I might as well just like record this lookbook. Um, it's Sunday morning, literally the 18th or 19th, and I plan to record edit post same day so you're getting this fresh you're getting this fucking hot out of the oven babes i might as well have just done like a a live video which i do want to do that soon if you have like any places that you would prefer to see a live video because i know instagram does it tiktok does it youtube does it but then there's also like multi-platform places that like let you do it to all of them so i have to figure that out but if there's a specific place that you would want to watch live videos of like us doing whatever maybe putting together outfits or talking before we get started though okay i listed a bunch of new stuff on my depop because depop is doing a free no fee is for the sellers um during like this week only so today and tomorrow are the only days that you can purchase and like they won't take a fee from it so if there's anything that you've been eyeing now would be the time to do it because that extra 10 percent makes a difference um but yeah here are some pieces that i recently listed including these freaking shorts that everybody's obsessed with and yes i am selling them because they don't fit me. My ass has grown so you fit your ass into them if you can. Uh, you will love them. Uh, including other things. You know, I'm going to do like a little haul of, of some of the stuff that I have listed. Just to give you like the real, the real thing. Okay. Um, first off, starting with this freaking skirt. This is exactly like the Margiela one that I've seen. It's an imitation leather. Uh, it's by Simply Vera, Vera Wang. It's stretchy and yeah, it just looks super cool. Very like grunge. It could be like for a good minimalistic type of vibe. I got this. Okay, this is very like twee vibes. This is very Zoe de Chanel. Um, 90s does 50s. Uh, it's very cute. I love the tiered like style. And then it has this little um, thing you could wrap a little bow. It's cute. Oh, this is a very, very fun piece. Very Y2K, but I don't know like the date of when this was made. It's by the brand S12. Okay, and it has this all over newspaper print. What really struck me about this piece is that it has the attached bolero and it's like a different, you know, kind of newspaper print. And just like, it's like a whole vibe that you throw the shit on, you need a pair of shoes, you're done. Like, this is the statement piece. This is all you need in the outfit. Like, this is the outfit. This freaking skirt. Insane, insane, insane print. It has, like, flowers and then, like, cigarette buds. It looks, like, metallic, but it looks like rain and... It just has, like, a very moody kind of vibe. But then the flowers, this is very contradicting to just to possessed you know what i'm saying even more is like the fit of this is like a pencil tapered skirt so it's like it has this like 1950s kind of vibe but then the print is very indie kind of grunge uh, i was gonna say emo i feel like it's it's emotional because it's like what is it saying it's saying something it's a statement okay one more piece i'll show you and then i'm done oh my god this dress is insane it has this like embroidered rhinestone detail and then the hem it's like literally that emoji where she's dancing that's this dress um it's a maxi dress perfect for a prom a homecoming even though those probably are already, already passed or if you just want to put it on while you're in your bedroom and have a dance party aka me that's what i do with my dresses I don't really go anywhere. 
Okay, let's do some outfits. So, one thing that I got that I was very surprised that I really liked is this blue skirt. It has this oversized flower print at the bottom and it's an imitation denim or maybe it is just denim um but i really like this blue tone i was like okay what would i wear with it uh at first i was like okay this red and blue i really like those tones together i'm gonna put it on after i have a sip if my voice is a little raspy it's because i've been a bit congested and i have my little concoction here this is echinacea and then I have Tulsi in there. And then I have these little, I put these little flower petals in there. It's called Butterfly Pea. I also put a quarter lemon and a cap full of apple cider vinegar in all of my teas. And I don't put honey because I just don't really care for the extra sugar. I kind of like the taste of everything. And, and nobody ever likes my teas. I've made my teas for other people. And they're like, this tastes like throw up. And I will not deny that it kind of does but it tastes like hell. It tastes like this is gonna cure me of everything wrong in my life. Ah, that's good throw up. I hope you can see well, but I just went ahead and put on the whole outfit. This shirt with this little mini skirt, which usually I'm not a big fan of mini skirts, but lately, I've been in the mood for it, and I guess it's because it's, it's summertime too, but this top matches these shoes perfectly. I love the little square pointed heel and the strap, but it's a low heel, so it feels like, you know, more casual. And then I have this bag. I feel like this bag, the shape of it just matches the vibe. And then I have these, so I just got this one for the floral one. I don't know why I'm kind of vibing with the polka dot one today. Or the flower one. But the silhouettes to a lot of my outfits are very, very similar. They're very feminine. I love wearing skirts. I love wearing dresses. I have not gravitated towards wearing a pair of jeans in at least a year now. But I would tie this in the back to make it even tighter. I think it needs like a little belt. So this is my collection of belts. I need to get like an actual belt hanger, but this will do for now. Even though this is like tearing up my belts. Look at this. It's tearing them apart. Honestly, I might sell this because I haven't worn this in a minute. Realistically, I do think about like, okay, what if I enter into my like, my like grunge era again? Or maybe I can mix them together. I don't like this. I dressed very grunge because I was also very moody. And now I'm dressing more fun and feminine because I'm in a better place and I feel good. I don't know. Something about dressing this way really enhances like my life. Isn't it funny how like I want everything to be high waisted again? And you want to know why? It's because I don't spend nearly as much time on social media looking at other people's outfit pictures like I have no idea what's trending anymore and I really don't care <laughs> I like the polka dot one better I think but you can comment below and let me know what you think shoes if I had my glasses you would really get the whole picture but this is okay <laughs> item that I recently got is this dress okay so this is the dress that I just recently got and I love it because it has this halter fit and it has like a, a bralette insert on the inside that actually fits me um it has this like kind of boho style it has this giant fractal it's it's definitely different than what I usually gravitate towards but the fit and the material so worth it it's by the brand max studio it's one of the brands that i love looking for i need to like kind of cinch it in a little bit so i'm gonna do my little method that i did in my one video where i like pull it okay there we go now this is a more fitted feel and for shoes 
I recently got these. So I showed you another pair of wedges in my last thrift haul. But I then I just recently found these and they're a little bit higher and they're all like uh, this like wicker straw. I don't know how to call that. Heel. The other one is like more black and... Anyways, I think these are super, super cute. I love a wedge. I love an ankle strap. I love like the peep toe. Everything about these are so cute. They're by Christian Siriani for Payless. I haven't heard of Payless in forever. Also, Wednesday is my birthday, guys. What a better present than to shop with me this weekend. I don't have very many like great summer bags. I have to settle for this outfit actually. Now I'm like, I need to get a summer bag. This one's okay. Eh. No. Nothing, nothing, I have nothing. Okay, this will have to do. I would wear my hair down for this look as well because I think it just matches the, the like beachy vibe. I would not wear my little thing because we have a lot of going on here anyways. But I like my outfits being very simple in general. And yeah, I would wear this to the beach. I would wear this to like a summer evening dinner. I would wear this on a date. Not a first date though. This is like date number three, if you make it that far. Okay, another summer dress that I got. This one, it's by Moa Moa, which I think it's funny because it's very similar to what my parents call me. It's just, it's actually very colorful, very tropical, but something about it like doesn't feel like too much. I think it's because it has a lot of white and black in it that kind of tones it down. And also the fit. Again, it has a little bralette insert. The material, phenomenal. And I realized that somebody originally cut it and sewed it, which kind of makes me bummed because I feel like this would be a very, very cute maxi dress or even midi dress. But as a mini, I think it's great. Okay, so this is a dress. I don't have to cinch it in or anything because it already fits really good. And I have this bag that is the closest that I can fit to this dress. I think it's too long. I think like for a small summer dress, I need a small summer bag and I don't have any really. So I'm a little stuck on that aspect, but I have two pairs of shoes that I'm kind of tied between either these ones, the strappy ones, or the like thong heels. I think I'm gonna go with this, the lower ones though because it feels a little more casual. Again, very simple, but it's like in the summertime, I'm not really trying to dress up like that anyways. A new clothing item that I just recently thrifted that I am obsessed with is this white top and it has a very, very lightweight, definitely gauzy kind of material. So I have to wear a complimentary like bralette underneath. Um, but I really love, first off, just like the breathability of it and also like the sheerness. It's kind of like a cap sleeve slash tank top. So I wore this recently and I feel like this outfit was giving kind of like Miu Miu Prada vibes. But I wore it with this skirt, my like 1950s skirt. It's A-line. And I also wore it with these. These are like oversized shorts. They're high-waisted. That shirt with high-waisted anything looks really good well not anything okay so here is the outfit with the skirt and then i wear it with these my petroleum jelly looking wedges very cute i love the ankle strap i showed these in my last haul and yeah the top i wish the top was a little more snug but it still works and then I have this burgundy bag and I just think the colors, this burgundy, the gray, and then this like petroleum jelly tone, very perfect together. Um, it looks very simple, but the silhouette really carries this outfit. And especially with like the very cinched in waist, it's giving 1950s, but in a more modern way. Um, I think it's sophisticated, but it's still kind of fun. Like it's different. And I really love this. This is what I wore the other day.
Okay, this skirt, I had it listed on my Depop and I was getting ready for my friend's graduation party and I was like just so stumped and I kept looking at it in my Depop pile and I was like, no, I already decided I don't want to keep it. I couldn't help myself, dude. Now it's like my favorite skirt and I'm like, I feel crazy for having even considered getting rid of it, but this skirt matches so many of my like black tops and I think it's so it also kind of gives like a 1950s 60s vibe I really love the oversized tartan print um I love like an oversized plaid print more than anything it's I don't know what it is it's like probably my favorite type of design so I wore this one I really like the low square neckline but also I think it would look really good with like a high turtleneck type of vibe too I'm gonna show you the one that I wore though. So these are the shoes that I'm gonna wear with them. They're very, you know, Marilyn Monroe vibes, has the ankle strap. And I got my sunglasses from my car so I could give you the full vibe. I think with these would be very cute. Okay, here we go. This is the vibe. I think a red bag definitely suits it more because there's too much black going on. I love it with the heels. What I think I'm gonna do though is like, I wanna taper in the sides of the skirt so it's just a little tighter. It has an open slit in the back anyway so I can walk, but I think like a tapered in fit is just, it just is better. This is perfect. This is like, I'm gonna go to a grocery store and I'm gonna meet the love of my life there. That's like the, that's the plan. <laughs> The other day I found a spark between two pieces and it is these capris and this like uh, I guess sports top but it definitely is vintage I don't know I think I could wear it like as a top as like you know walking on the boardwalk or something like that okay another summer outfit I'm wearing them with these ruby red little heel wedges kind of like flats very cute they have white stitching on them i'm wearing it with my navy blue little bag my sunglasses and this top because this is like a very kind of revealing top i have to wear it to like a water setting maybe to the pool the beach club I, i'm not affiliated with any beach clubs but like this is what i would wear if i was Okay, so this is a top that I most recently thrifted and I wasn't sure how much I'd really like it, but it's very fitted and I think it's different. It has this like ruffling, which usually I don't like ruffles around the chest area because it just kind of enhances the chest area more, which I don't need. Um, but I think like the very slim kind of fit and it's kind of long too. It's very cute um, This is an outfit that I've never worn before But I just wanted to style it and see what I could come up with on the fly and this outfit I don't know if I'd really wear it. I don't know how much I really like it comment down below what you think It's kind of giving like uptown girls Brittany Murphy vibes. I love the little ankle strap heel wedges and then I have this blue skirt. So like what kind of threw me off about this outfit honestly is that like I have pink, blue, and then just black kind of thrown in there. The colors are not connecting as well to me, but I, I tried to tie it in with this black bag, which is actually garbage. I'm so mad because I thrifted this and like a week later it started fucking talking to me i don't know i kind of want to keep him because of that but i won't because it's fucked up but yeah i need to get a replacement bag <laughs> this is more like early 2000s y2k vibes but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much i hope you have a great rest of your day or start to your week i love you bye my little